It's Will Dickey here. I'm standing in the uh, entrance to the Kahamingi Forest, which is down in the wire wrapper. I'm here with our forest manager, Stephen Paul. We're here to have a look around Kahamingi Forest and Flatspur, which have recently come on the market. Flatspur is 160 hectares planted in 92 and 93, and it currently shares a boundary with Oban Forest, where we're harvesting. And the Kahamingi block is 513 hectares planted between 95 and 97, and it's 115 kilometres from the Wellington port. So we're going to go for a bit of a drive through the forest now and see how things look and we'll let you know. Enjoy. Right, here we are on the western boundary of the Kahamingi Forest. We've just tracked right through the middle of the forest. We've come up on the, on the top ridge. We're sitting between the 95 plantings that we're standing in and the 96. Um, as you can see, it's, it's a typical uh, ridge top scenario where you've got bigger branching um, and they've left a corridor of, um, of trees just to protect from the wind. But um, beyond that corridor, as soon as you start moving down the slope of the uh, hill here, you see very nice form trees, you see good branching and really good growth habit. We've been right around the complete forest and it's, it's pretty consistent. Tony Watt was the manager of this forest and one thing I'll say about Tony, he was very particular about what he liked and his management style. So um, it's consistent, it's got good prune log in here, it's got good volume and very good branch habit for those upper logs, small, small diameter branch habit. I've had Paul here who's uh, been looking at the roading side of things, uh, how have you found the property, Paul? Oh, the, the outside of the forest is uh, is, is tremendous. So there's uh, the eastern side has got a good access all the way up, and uh, and also getting through um, um, to the to the front of the forest, there's there's no problems with road grades and and um, and getting log and truck access. But we have got a large gorge through the middle of the forest, which is um, which is going to be challenging. Uh, some of the road grades. Or loaded logging trucks um, are going to be at their um, at their maximum, but um, I think uh, looking at the at the levels that I've done at the moment, it looks like we should be able to get through the gorge so that we don't have to be forced to truck from uh, the, the east side to the west side um, and, and lengthen the lead distance. Okay, yeah. So after after having a, a or spent a, a few hours in here. I'd have to say it's not too dissimilar to our Oban forest, uh, which is, uh, as the crow f flies a few, few k's away from here. Tony Watt also managed that forest. We're getting exceptionally good recoverable volume, uh, good pruned volume out of that forest, good branch habit, um, and like I say, this, this is not too dissimilar to that, so well-managed forest, no? Nope. 